Hey guys, Tonster here, back with another Ace Tanker replay, this time in the Jagdpanzer IV. Um, I have this fully upgraded, I use free XP to upgrade it because I hate stock tanks. And this one, uh, it's fairly important on because you get a 220 alpha gun and it reloads in like four and a half seconds. So, um, and it's got 145 pen, it's got the short 88. And it's got 194 pen with gold. I will warn you, we're in a tier 8 game and I shoot a lot of gold um, to no effect really against a low. But uh, nevertheless, this is a vast improvement over the last tank, the Stug 3G. Um, it's for one thing, the ammo loadout. Holy cow, I've got like 50 rounds. I think I had like 40 in the Stug 3G and it's got uh, far less alpha. So. It's actually, you can do some blind shots, you can fire some questionable shots and not worry about running out of ammo in this thing. Plus, it's got a much bigger slab of hit points at 600 versus 360. And it's got eh, semi-usable armor. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's, it's usable. This is a fairly short replay. We get into the action uh, fairly soon, and it's kind of a face roll, but we're able to kick out enough damage to make sure that we get our ace tanker here so so I noticed not a lot's here and I probably should have stayed there and would have had shots on the poodle but nevertheless hindsight's 2020. and just looking at the map I realized that they've got a lot on the other side fortunately our team trades very well on the other side so um so we're just coming up to try and get a shot on this poodle so I have no idea what's behind him, which is kind of a silly thing to, to move up, but I do have bushes between me and him, so I'm not likely to get lit. And this chariot or challenger, holy Hannah. So you can see the DPM on this thing is insanely good. And we are firing gold because I expected to see heavier stuff, um, like that low back there. And so we don't make very many credits this game, but that's okay. We're all right with that. So we're just moving up with the rest of the team. Um, on this side, I noticed we were actually kind of light. We have a light tank. We have a Cheeto, which is an awful tier 7 tank. Um, and a Cromwell. And that's it. So had we had a lot on coming at us on this side or something with some armor, we would have been in trouble. But it is important to defend this side, so that's what I did. So here you're going to see a series of shots and why 194 pen just doesn't do it against a, a low. Um, if you hit exactly the right weak spot, it can work. But in reality, I just wasn't able to hit that shot. I was trying to aim well, too. So we're aimed at that middle bar, lower plate kind of thing which is doesn't have that much armor and then we get side turret and you would think that with side turret we'll be able to feel the pen but no such luck so again we're shooting for lower plate but we just don't have quite the accuracy to get it but it's okay it's keeping us occupied and uh this low really kind of lost the game for his team, honestly. I mean, he's top tier, and he's sitting in the very back sniping. And this this is when the fun begins. We end up with a T-3485 come YOLO us, and he is he's not really fast enough to circle us. The T-3485 is not a very quick tank. It's a very, very good tank, but it's not very quick. And... You know, here we are, gold spam noobing it, and so we change over to standard rounds, and he gets taken out by Artie. So, we're up to 1,300 damage, and I don't know what this light tank is doing, but I shot him just like, I don't know if I splashed him with HE or what, but I think I damaged his engine there. And, um... We're able to get the shot in before the RD does. So we take the entirety out of two tanks right there at the end. That's almost 2,000 damage. There is 1,800 damage. And we only have one kill, but so be it. So 
So I don't know what the Lowe's doing, but I assume he's probably camping. He's not now. Now that the guys are coming after him, he decides to leave. So I don't know what his thought is there. But we're going to come over and take a shot in the side. And now the side turret shot works. So um, he go, goes ahead and puts a shot in us, but we don't care because that is the end of the game with 2300 damage. And I, I think that damage at the end on a tier 8 kind of pushed ov us over the edge. So let's take a quick look at the after action report. If you want my opinion on this, I, I think this is a solid TD. I really do. I would not be afraid to suggest it to people, and I'm not much of a TD player. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, here we are at the after action report. The only thing we got of significance is the ace tanker, which I'm happy with. And we did end up with uh, 1,000 XP, which isn't a huge amount to get an ace but I'm assuming not a lot of people do great in these things. I don't know. Um, the extra view range is helpful on this thing as well. Uh, we <laughs> ended up losing 10,000 credits because we fired 19 shots and only pinned 10, and nine of those were gold shots. But I assume um, if I hadn't been so liberal, we probably would have still made money, basically. And again, I still have that premium account from my mission. So um, we had a personal missions payout. Uh, or, and also our base XP. So we ended up with 3,000 total XP. So hope you enjoyed uh, the replay. And if you'd like to see more, of course, please do subscribe. I appreciate any comments you'd like to leave. And we will catch you on the next one.